What's up guys? So I've got a little video today. We're gonna be talking about some of the upcoming updates. I'm gonna show off some things. So this is gonna be a little different than like a coding video or a upcoming update video because I'm actually gonna show you some stuff. You're actually gonna see some things. And we'll also talk about uh, some important dates that are coming up soon. So if you're interested in any of the events or giveaways or drunk streams or whatever, you know, then uh, stay tuned for that. But uh, without further ado, uh, before I actually get into showing off some stuff, I'll explain sort of uh, the, the reason for this video, uh, and then I'll talk about the last one. So uh, in the last video I made that was similar to this, I talked about the roadmap and the future of Revival. I talked about two things that were going to be coming very soon, which is Zalcano and Corrupt Gauntlet, Crystal Gauntlet, or whatever it's called. And um, obviously those things have not come out yet, because those are big bits of content that have to be, you know, I want them to be done right, and uh, obviously we can't guarantee it anytime soon. Um, so I made a poll recently, or a survey, that was basically asking people's opinions, and one of the, the main important questions was, would you guys rather have bug fixes? Would you guys rather have Revival 1 content added to the server? Would you rather have new content entirely, or would you rather us add old school stuff we're missing, like the Gauntlet and Zulcano? And pretty much every single answer got fit, like got some votes. It was a, it was a split between every single one evenly. So I, I there wasn't really any one way to go. Um, so I kind of just figured I would uh, pull the dictator card and uh, come up with this plan. So it's basically a little bit of everything. You're gonna see some new content that we haven't seen before. You're gonna see uh, some additions from Revival One, and um, you know, and then we'll see some old school content as well. So as far as when you're going to get this content, I'm not entirely sure. It could be next week. It could be next month. The plan is that most of these things that I'm talking about are going to be very soon. That's why I'm showing them, and you'll see parts of them are coded already. So, you know, there's that. But uh, it's, if anything changes or anything that comes out before then, then that's just that just happens, right? I, I want you to know that I'm not trying to lie or I'm not trying to misrepresent anything. If this plan doesn't happen, then... Just know that, that we tried and that this was the plan and that's why I'm making the video. So I just want you to know that because some people will think, okay, well, if you didn't do that stuff, well, then are you going to do this stuff? And that's why. I mean, it's the plan is going to be updated. The plan is going to change. Nothing is strict. The, the, the main goal is fun updates every single week. So the very first thing we want to talk about is our very first custom minigame slash skill boss. We are going to be adding Big Chin Champa. So if you're familiar with, Rev uh, I was going to say Revival, if you're familiar with RuneScape 3, there's this mini game called Big Chin Champa. It's basically, there's a Big Chin Champa in the middle. You walk around in a circle, you collect moths, you feed the Chin Champa, you get a bunch of Hunter XP. Pretty simple mini game, but I don't know why, I've always just enjoyed it. It's pretty fun, and Hunter is one of those skills on the server where it definitely could use some loving, so why not Big Chin? This will be our very first, uh, very first attempt at a mini game, uh, and I want to really do it right and good, so. Uh, this one will probably be one of the things that you see last, which it makes no sense to show you first, but I'm, I'm very happy with the idea, I'm very excited about it, and it's definitely going to be a lot of fun. So the next thing that's going to be on the list, this is something that is kind of from Revival 1, it's being twisted a little bit and repurposed for Revival 2, Ezal. So Ezal was a kind of random thing that happened on Revival 1 that, that, that just sort of got thrown together. Um, the original logic for the person was that he was a person that was a part of the God Wars 2 preamble. Most people don't know this because they did not pay any attention to lore or what I was trying to do, but there was a lot of, like, lore building up to God Wars 2. And it was kind of like, some of it was hit or miss. Uh, Izal was a really big example of that. So basically he had this really rare chance of dropping 100,000 death runes. And it would say something in the chat like, death is coming for us all, or something like that. Uh, but no one ever killed him, no one ever thought to, to do that. And even if they did, the rate was probably too rare for it to ever even happen. So there were kind of a lot of examples of many things, many conversations with people that you could talk to, and they sort of like gave some background information for God Wars 2. Izal was kind of one of those characters that just, uh, sort of towards the end, I repurposed him a little bit and made him the boss that he was in Revival 1. So on Revival 2, my idea for him is that he is basically going to be a... Uh, he's worked with Oldak. He, he was Oldak's apprentice, and he was also a wizard. So he was trying to sort of combine inventions and magic, and that was always sort of his, his thing, right? And... And I'll sort of go into sort of like lore and, and whatnot all throughout Revival. I know most people don't care, but for anyone who does care, it will be there for you. 
Uh, I also just think it's it's good to know for like the logic behind why I'm making the monsters the way they are, and and it's gonna matter for things that are you know down the road like God Wars two, obviously, and hopefully God Wars three. Definitely want to do a God Wars three. Uh, I wanted to do it on Revival one, but it just didn't happen. But uh, so, anyways, basically on here, he's uh, he worked with Old Deck, and they they had a rift, they had a split, and I'm not gonna talk too much about like about that in this video or anything like that but basically uh he's um, been experimenting with some some messed up stuff and he's been doing all the things old Eck basically said not to do and uh, his big drops he will have one of them which is not necessarily a big drop but book of basic inventions so this is gonna be like the main go-to item for all of the little things we add throughout invention if you remember revival one we had things like the the, the um the experiment teleport that you could make uh you just used i think crystal is it with the crystal or generic components on a molten glass or something like that? Like, it was it was very simple, but, like, there was no recipe for it. There was no schematic for it. And there was no way in-game for you to really know that it existed. So, this time around, I've decided to just make this one-stop shop item for all of those little inventions that don't really need a schematic. It's not important enough for a schematic. But also, if I didn't tell you about it, you might not even know it ever existed. So, that's sort of the intention for this. So, this will be one of the things he drops, the, the, the less common. The bigger thing that it'll drop the book of creation schematic which is going to require 99 invention i am not going to examine it because i don't want to spoil any of the things that i was just talking about not wanting to spoil but uh it allows you to create the book of creation the book of creation is basically sierra's book all of the god books are based on gods the newest ones that were added were the terror and light which is sliske and Saren, respectively uh, and then this one will be the final in-game one, the Book of Creation, which is for the god Sierra, which if you're not familiar with the god Sierra, because it's not a real RuneScape god, it's a god that I created for Revival. It is based on my dog. I won't, I won't lie or deny that. Uh, and it's basically like the uh, the next next level, uh, not really next level, who is the biggest god in, in RuneScape? I don't even know anymore because they have like Elder Gods. Basically, Sierra is the god of all gods uh, for Revival 2 lore, and uh, this is her Burt book. And obviously the color scheme is uh, very nice, so I'm not going to talk about stats or anything like that, any special abilities, anything like that. So the main two things you'll get will be the two schematics here and there. And maybe something new that would, you know, help you with inventions down the road, who knows. And you know where we are? Ash's Dungeon is coming back. So yeah, that's going to be a fun one. It will be relatively similar to Revival 1, but again... We'll take our own personal spin on it. The actual big rewards, like the unique items, will probably be all different because a lot of the ideas on Revival 1 just won't work for here. Maybe the Dragon Shield, but that was the least popular one, so do we really want to do that? Uh, and then down the road, we'll probably do an Elite Dungeon, but we don't need to do that or, you know, right now or anything like that. So that will basically do it for that portion of the thing. Um, as far as little stuff, you know, we're gonna have tons of things. I, I do really want to get to a lot of those bug reports that we've uh, that people have been, you know, posting and whatnot on the on the Discord. We've been busy with the event, and that's taken a lot of a uh, development time. But now that it's you know gonna be ending this week, we should be able to smooth you know smooth things over and uh, get back to normal, get back to the the you know more more important updates long term, right? Things that are actually gonna matter. Anything we do to the event is temporary. So then the last thing I want to talk about is we are going to be doing a little player appreciation event this weekend. It's going to be just four or five days only. It is going to start July 1st, this Friday, right after the event, or right after the update. And then it'll end on the 5th of Tuesday. We will have double experience and double adventure points. As well as on the 2nd, July uh, 2nd, Saturday, I'm going to be doing a drunk stream. It'll start at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 7 p.m. Eastern. Um, if you went to the last one, it was a lot of fun. It was actually a lot more fun than, than I was expecting. I mean, I was expecting it to be fun, because they usually are. At least for me, I'm drunk, right? So, I mean, it doesn't even matter what else happens. But uh, it was a very, uh, a very enjoyable time. And uh, if you want to come check it out, you know, the, all the time will, will be in the description below, and as well as the links to the server. If you have any suggestions, as always, feel free to message me anywhere you want. Uh, you can add me on Discord if you think that makes sense. Reply back here. If you do message me on YouTube, I never check those messages, so don't do that.